Okay, um, today we're going to be talking about a what a basis for a topology is. Um, so a basis is going to be a collection collection of subsets of X. Um, so just like a topology is a collection of subsets of X, right? This uh, uh, B is a, or script B, really, is a collection of subsets of X such that two things are true. The first is that um, for any point P in X, um, there is uh, a set B, right, a subset of X in this collection such that P is contained in B. Um, the next condition is that if B, uh, B1 and B2 are two elements of this collection, um, and P is a point in the intersection uh, so assuming that this intersection is non-empty, there is this third B3 in the collection. So I'm trying to make these Bs look different from each other. Um, such that B3 is contained in the intersection. Right? Um, so for example, um, just a way to look at this pictorially is if this is B1, B2, and you have some point in the middle, then you have B3 contained in this intersection and it contains P, right? Um, then we call script B a basis. Okay. Topology. Um, let me scroll down. So this definition does not mention any uh, pre-existing topology uh, so there's a topology on X right this definition does not need a pre-existing topology right this basis what it does is it generates a topology um, and the topology topology generated by B is the collection of sets A, right, such that, oh, sorry, that was really ugly, um, such that um, for, if you take a point in A, there is a basis element B um, such that P is contained uh, P is contained in B and B is contained in A right so this is a characterization of the open sets given some basis right 
the open sets are sets such that if I pick any point, then I can find a basis element, right? So again, pictorially, imagine I just have some amorphous blob that I call A, and I pick any point, then I can find some, um, some open set around it contained in A, right? Um, so that is the topology generated by B. And notice by this definition um, that B is in fact a subset of uh, the topology, right? Because, um, because if this is uh, B, right, for any P in some basis element, then the basis element itself is one such that P is in B and contained in B, right? Uh, so it's, it's sort of trivially true that the basis itself is going to be a subset of this topology that we're defining. Um, and so this is just saying that the basis elements are open sets. Um, now, if we have a pre-existing topology, so, so this is like, this construction is given a basis, we can construct a topology. Uh, but now, what if we want to do the opposite thing? What if we have a topology and we want a basis? Um, so let's say we have script V as a subset of a topology. If uh, A is open and P is an element of the open set, then there is V, V such that P is contained in V, which is contained in A. So if, uh, so sort of, if this statement is true, then V is a basis for the topology that we have T, right? So given a topology, um, this is a characterization for a basis, right? And it's essentially just this exact same um, thing that we wrote here, because we wrote this sort of if and only if, right? Um, so this isn't really anything new from this definition, right? It's just that here we're writing down how we can generate T, and here we're writing down um, sort of how to identify a basis if we already have our topology. Um, another characterization for a basis, um, B is a basis for, I should write, for, for our topology T. Uh, if and only if every open set is a union of elements of B, right? Um, so a basis is something where every open set is a union of basis elements, essentially. Um, and this is sort of something that's really uh, fundamental. Um, and, and you can write, if A is an open set, you can write this as sort of um, a union over uh, points in A, B sub P, where P is uh, an element of B sub P, 
which is contained in A, and B sub P is a basis element. Right? Um, this is a way of writing A in terms of the basis elements. Um, the final thing for this is um, a, uh, a way of comparing two bases. So let's say we have a topology, uh, topology, and let's say we have, um, or sorry, sorry, we don't have a pre-existing topology, let's say. Um, let's just say that we have two sets, um, B and V are bases for a topology on X, right? We just have two different, two different collections of subsets which satisfy the first two properties from the start of this video. Um, if the following two statements are true, so the first is that um, uh, if B is an element of the first basis and P is an element of the set B, uh, there is a set V in the second basis such that P is contained in V, is contained in B. And the second property is just the same thing, but flipping um, flipping B and V. Um, if you start with a set in the second basis, a point in that set, then there is some basis element from the first basis, such that P is contained in B, is contained in V. Uh, if these two things are true, then B and V generate the same topology. And um, again, this is something that you should uh, go through the details, right? Um, you can sort of say, uh, you can write, um, like say, okay, you have the two topologies T1 and T2 corresponding to the two bases, and you just want to show that these are equal to each other. And again, you would show that by saying, if A is open in T1, I want to show that A is open in T2, right? That's how you would go about proving this. Um, and that concludes this lecture. Do you have any questions? No, sir. I'm clear. All right. Well, that's it.